Question three. Part one says use Simpson's rule with four strips to find an approximation to the integral of between two and zero of e root x. So I've put Simpson's rule here. This is in your formula book. Okay, there's a little bit about calculating h as well that I haven't managed to fit on here. Okay, but we'll look at that as we're working out the question. So if I'm going to integrate between two and zero and there are four strips, because there's a point at the beginning and the end, so remember if we've got four strips, one, two, three, four, you will need five ordinates. Okay, so we should be working out five values. So let's start by saying, well, this is going to be X. We're going to create a little table. And our ordinates are going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can't really forget to start on 0 because it starts in 0 in the formula. Okay, so use that to help you remember. Okay, so the x coordinates of the first ordinate will be, or the zeroth ordinate will be 0. Okay, this is because we started at 0 here. The x coordinate of the fourth, of the, of the fifth one, ordinate there, is going to be 2. So we can put two there. So we've got four strips and we've got uh, to go between zero and two. So H is going to be two divided by four, four strips, which is a half. So these are going up in half. So we've got 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5. Okay, let me just write my function here for quick reference. We're doing E to the root X. So we're going to have e to the 0, which is 1. We're going to have e to the root 0 0.5, which we can't work out without a calculator anyway. We're going to have e to the 1. We're going to have e to the root 1.5 and e squared. Okay, these are the values we're going to put into the formula. So, integral between 2, 0, e root x, dx is approximately equal to one third and then we've got h which we've already worked out is a half and then we'll open a bracket we've got the end point so y naught and y4 for us so y naught is 1 and y4 is e squared Sorry, that's not e squared, that's e root 2. Apologise for that mistake. e root 2. Plus four lots of the odd ordinates. So that's this one and this one. Four lots of e to the root 0 0.5 plus e root 1.5 plus two lots of the even ordinates, of which we've only got this one, so plus two lots of e to the power one. Okay, being very careful, putting all that into your calculator. Okay, break it up into steps if you want to, but make sure you keep the accuracy. You get 5.38. Part two, deduce an approximation to the integral of between 2 and 0 of 1 plus 10 e root x dx. Now this is very similar to our last function. Okay, we've already integrated e root x and we know that's approximately equal to that. Okay, if we integrate 1 we will get x and if we integrate this we will get 10 lots of whatever ever we have there so just as a side calculation here if I integrate between 2 and 0 1 dx well that would become x between 2 and 0 which would give me 2 minus 0 which is 2 so I mean from integrating that between 2 and 0 I get 2 plus 10 lots of integrating that, I get that, 5.38. Okay, 
Okay, well that's 2 plus 53.8, which is 55.8.